Hello, welcome to today's video. As you can see, I am not in the garage. I am in the basement on the workbench here. Uh, we are connected to the uh, DMSC adapter, which is happily running in the garage. You can see connected to Electronics DMSC uh, MAC address ending in FEE6. Uh, we have local access only. So if you see the screen pause or do anything like that, it's because Google and Microsoft and Adobe and everybody's trying to go out and check for updates and uh, that kind of messes up the DMOC adapter. Um, trying to fulfill all those requests even though Windows knows that I only have local access. But anyways, well, I digress. I, there's another video where I'm complaining about that anyway. So, uh, yeah, I got this, uh, got the packets here. Uh, 1D, 1DB has been decoded out here. Uh, we ended up with a checksum account DC bus voltage of 385.766 or 73 volts. Looks like it's got one bit counting. I'm not sure on the scalar on that. I shifted it by, uh, took the raw value, shifted by uh, 1024, and that seems to get me in the ballpark with what I was measuring on, with the meter. And I can confirm that. I confirm that later here in a little bit. Uh, we got DC bus voltage uh, or uh, current. It's um, also not quite sure on the scaler, so I just shifted it over to where it looks like that seems reasonable to me, given how much bits of information is there. Um, so, you know, this thing's capable of measuring hundreds of amps, so the fact that it's toggling between that's one bit there uh, is probably correct. Um, the next one is uh, battery pack capacity. I guess on the leaf, there's like a little indicator somewhere that tells you how many like bars of state of charge you have left. Uh, currently says 10, which I would assume is 100%. I'm not sure. Uh, and it also worked out to 110 kilowatts. I'm also not sure about that, but uh, we'll go with it. Um, this command here, the 79B, is what I'm sending out to read the battery pack. So if you look here, that says transmit instead of receive. And I'm receiving this uh, packet back that actually contains all the data for the batteries each uh, or each cell um, they didn't quite they so they're only sending seven bytes of data back uh, the eighth byte's got index and the flag information in it which is great and everything except that it means that each packet only contains um, <laughs> three and a half of a cell or I guess three and a half cells worth of data so the next packet that comes in has the other half of the cell data so yeah anyways over <laughs> so I guess over over two packets you, re you receive seven cells worth of data say so, so because of that I had to build this little graph down here or a uh, table that actually has all the cell data in it um, you can see how quickly it's refreshing um, here I'll do that in a second here but you can see how stable the values are you know they're all really close so the balancer is definitely doing its job um, again, I didn't exactly know the scaler on these guys, so what I did is I, uh, it looks like I, I, I took the value that they're sending back and just shifted it. I divided it by a thousand, and that seems to be what the voltage is, because I, uh, I have this little guy down here. He's actually summing all of these cells together and comes up with 385.5, you know, or 7.7, .7, so it's flickering around. And that jives with um, 385.7 over there, which this is coming from a different system that measures the whole pack voltage. Whereas this is me adding all the cells together. And it looks like they're jiving. So I think I have the cell and at least the full pack um, scalers correct. I have to go put a load on there, like a, a 1 amp load, and measure 1 amp and, and see if, um, if we can't get that scaler set up, you know, confirm that that scaler is set up right. But anyways, I'll go ahead and hit refresh here and you'll see how quickly it rebuilds. This is how quick I'm getting the data out of the battery pack. It's not very quick. So they're all not in numbers and then they all get populated. So it's just sitting there constantly doing that and then generating that, uh, it calculates that voltage down there. And uh, yeah, I haven't um, gotten the rest of the packet decoders figured out for the rest of these uh, yet. But uh, eventually, I will. I, I guess I could spend more time working on the packet decoders if people actually care about that. Um, I'm not actually planning on using the CAN bus uh, on this. 
I was just decoding it to go figure out, I want to figure out the internal serial bus that they use on their balancers. So I need to figure out how those talk, and so I can reconfigure the pack and use them. Use it that way. Or use it because I need to reconfigure it anyway. Because this is too much, I only need 144 volts, so i got to split into two packs and then actually take out a bunch of batteries. I'll take eight batteries out, so we'll end up with um, two strings of 20 modules in series. So there'd be 40 cells and 40 cells, and that would be 80 cells, so I'd have... Um, I'd have uh, uh, eight, 16 cells, which is actually eight modules left over. But anyways, yeah, that's that's what's going on here. But it, I've got it working. Um, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching.